Hey guys, it's Andrew from 510 Books here in my warehouse. It is Monday, January 31st, 2022. And it is, the day's almost done in terms of the work day. It is the last day of the month. So what does that mean? For me, it means I have to pay my rent on the bookstore and the warehouse tomorrow. Um, but, you know, start a new month, start fresh, or, you know, I don't know if you're starting fresh, but um, I guess depends, right? On how you're looking at it, or how your business is going, that kind of thing. But um, the months kind of just mesh into each other in terms of, for me, for my business. January went by pretty quick. But I have to say, when you have kids, life just goes flying by. If you don't have kids yet, or... Are not going to have kids then well your life is probably going very slowly but um i forgot what it was like to not have kids and for life to go slow but anyway um things are flying by and today i let's see in the morning well before i go into that i want to talk about or what i'm what i realize is one of the faults of how i run my business or one of the struggles, I should say, is having too much stuff and not getting uh, through what I have while still getting more stuff. <laughs> and I mean by stuff, of course, is, is inventory to sell online and to sell locally. Um, so I'm just trying to get better and better at that. I mean, as I know, as you guys know, I keep talking about it. I have this other Gaylord to go of CDs and I still have probably Ooh, yeah, a dozen, if not 13 or 14 boxes of DVDs to go through that I purchased months ago. This pile here represents some of that stuff and um, this bin as well. I've probably showed you this before, but under there I have three left and then this whole stack. And the bottom on down, which is one, two, three, four, five, six of them, seven, eight, nine. And then in the bathroom, there's another at least three, maybe four. So, yeah, at least a dozen or plus. And um, so the Gaylords, and I have that that I have not gone through yet. Uh, but, um, yeah, and I'm still working on these CDs here. It's the last thing I'm working on today to sort them out so I can put them into the mixed genre, popular artist eBay lots that I sell. I've got a decent amount, probably enough for two or so. Um, if there's a bunch of one artist, I might sell those individually, but anyway. So I still have that to go to even just finish off the second Gaylord that I finished going through. Oh, I don't know, how long has it been? A week and a half, two weeks? So stuff just kind of drags on and on and that's why I was so happy this weekend to get through all those books. Um, today I finished going through those three boxes of CDs that have been sitting for two plus weeks and found a couple more to send into Amazon and I started an Amazon shipment this morning. So I'm gonna add those those two FBA ones and I have another merchant fulfilled one as well. And I'll ship that FBA one out tomorrow, box out tomorrow. But, um, but yeah, I finally got through those. There was a bunch of independent or indie type stuff. Um, less known stuff, but also good amount of rare CDs in there. So I'll be selling, listing a lot of those and selling those on eBay. Um, but yeah, so I find myself doing is, I still have so much to go through, but as I go through it, I always find something that I have to list, or have to, but that is profitable to list on eBay, uh, especially the CDs. And when it comes to DVDs, or CDs can be on Amazon as well, but when it comes to DVDs, it's just, it's just eBay or it's local. And then so the stuff that I have to list individually or small lots on eBay grows slowly. I already have a banker's box of mostly individual CDs, a few DVDs, and then a few small CD lots to list. And um, so that's kind of what happens. And the amount of CDs and DVDs I have as back stock continues to grow as well to put out for my local sale, which is a good thing. I'm not saying it's bad to have back stock but I don't need any more DVDs. I don't need more CDs until <laughs> I get through what I have, basically. So that's the challenge for me. And I'm sure it's kind of similar to like a death pile 
um, that pile of books or CDs or records or DVDs or whatever you resell that is sitting in your garage, sitting in the corner of your room, in your house somewhere, in a storage unit, whatever, and you don't ever get around to it, but you keep getting new stuff. So I'm trying to stop doing that. Um, but, you know, part of it is that people bring me donations, which is great, of course. And then people give me, bring me buying opportunities. Now I can just pass on them entirely unless it's really good. Like I'm not going to pass on um, some quality records or video games, which I never get. People never bring me video games. But um, if they were to do that, or Blu-rays is another one, uh, I wouldn't pass on those three. Um, but when it comes to things like books and CDs and DVDs, I really should pass on those unless there's just great stuff, unless I can cherry pick, which sometimes I can do. Um, so yeah, so that's what happens. I realized like today, once I finished shipping uh, eBay, I had to deal with something else, um, go to the post office, all that stuff. Once I got here, I spent a lot of the time, um, well, initially I spent time going through those, finishing off those boxes of CDs. And that took time because I had to, I had to scan them, then I had to look them up. A lot of them I'm going to put in my local sale as well. So it took time. Um, and then I got around to, <laughs> thankfully I got around to listing. I listed a huge amount of those. They were A lot of them were like indie rock, um, alt rock, most of it from the late 90s to the, to the early to mid 2000s. So I put it in a gigantic CD lot that I listed on eBay. So I had to get all, that all together. I had ended up being over 950 loose CDs. So I, um, I photographed that, put that up on eBay. I'm going to list it after I finish this video, have it go live. Got to remember that. <laughs> uh, usually I recommend when you do, au it's an auction, by the way, a seven day auction. First of all, that the auction does not start or end on a Friday or Saturday, but, uh, you know, any other day, basically, ideally, probably Sunday, Monday, maybe Thursday, but Sunday is probably the best day. And do it later in the day. Don't do it in the morning or midday. You know, do it when people are getting home after work, have time to look at night, that kind of thing. That's what I recommend. Um, so anyway, so I need to list that. But yeah, I, I photographed all that stuff. And then I just started diving into the CDs to alphabetize and put together for the mixed uh, popular artists on eBay. John, or eBay Lots. And I still have a box of audio cassette tapes that are great that I have to go through. So see what I mean? There's just so much stuff. So I need to, I mean, I haven't been buying a ton of stuff, but um, stuff comes to me and buying opportunities come to me. And so it just gets overwhelming. So I'm going to keep on working on what I have. I basically have enough to continue to feed the sale for a while, especially when I go through the Gaylord and I'll find a ton of quality CDs for local sale, um, especially by artist and group. But yeah, I mean, I have, I have back stock of records, for now, Blu-rays, and for now, video games. So pretty good for a while. So I'm just realizing that I need to focus on getting through what I have um, and sorting all of these DVDs. There's so many. I don't need any more. <laughs> Seeing exactly what I have because I just don't know. Hold on. Yeah, so that's probably um, a challenge for a lot of resellers, especially the bigger you get is it becomes difficult to manage all of the inventory and all of the stuff. And the more I'm open now, being open weekly, the running my ad every day on Facebook, and then um, just having my signs out, people finding me, et cetera. You know, people just, they ask me if, I'm, if I buy. And I think I'm gonna have to get better about saying things like, well, I do buy, but right now I'm a little, uh, you know, overloaded with, with inventory. So once I go through everything I have, then I'll be able to start buying again. Again, if it's not something that I'm really always looking for, like the records of Blu-rays and the video games. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to get good at that and really, because this time around, uh, I had somebody, two people bring me, bring me books and DVDs. And one woman, she was totally cool with it. I just cherry picked some books and some DVDs and paid her for those. And the other guy I didn't take. I didn't have didn't take anything from him. Uh, he had a, a trunk full or the back of his car full SUV full of books. A lot of quality books. I mean, 
great condition books, I should say. Ton of romance novels, the Harlequin romance novels, in brand new condition, essentially. But I didn't want to deal with it. You know, I didn't want to say, oh, yeah, this is, this is a bunch. There's 10 of the series or 20, 30 of the series. Let me take that and I can list it on eBay. I don't want that. <laughs> I don't mind a couple books here and there for my local sale. Or, of course, if I find some that I can sell on Amazon, just ship them out. Which is the great thing about FBA is, you know, that's why I love doing FBA shipments because I just get them out of my life, send them in, price them right, and they'll start selling. And they sell in the background. I don't have to deal with it, um, et cetera. So that's why I love finding that kind of stuff. But yeah, um, I'm just going to get better, uh, better at that. And so I just have to start saying, no, I appreciate it. But right now I cannot buy anything. I am up to my eyeballs in extra stock and I need to get through all that. And I really do because I can, it's going to feel really great. You know, when I go through all the DVDs, the 12 plus boxes and keep the stuff for the local sale and the rest of it, um, you know, sell it on eBay lots, that kind of thing, get rid of it, free up the space and, um, yeah. And free up the space where all those boxes are. I mean, it's crazy. And, and I also have it organized so that, uh, when I need to put stuff out or my employee needs to put stuff out, okay, this box has got action movies, this one's got sci-fi, this one's got comedy and drama, etc. kids, and so we can just go to those boxes, pull what we need, put them out, and keep it going. <laughs> Which is all logical stuff, but um, I just realized in this because a lot of these boxes of DVDs have been sitting here for months, I'm talking like three, four months, and it's crazy that I haven't gone through them yet. I don't need to be getting anything else, uh, DVD-wise anyway. So that's my rant. It's not really a rant, but that's my um, commentary for the day <laughs> about my my little tiny struggle with the business. Um, but I need to get better at it. I'm so excited about the books being organized. It's awesome. <sighs> However, this is going to be cleaned up tomorrow. <laughs> that's not fun. But I'm going to take off. Appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you like the video, please give it uh, a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe. If you like content about an entrepreneur's journey, about uh, reselling books and media on, on Amazon and eBay and also locally in a retail setting. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Stay safe. See you in the next video.